Hello friends, usually I explain things which are directly in Maya and where you don't need any extras. And basically this is the same thing now, but I want to show you that it's sometimes complex and other people can help you ease things dramatically. And one excellent example is the free 32-bit studios lighting scene setup which you see now. It's available for Maya, Modo and 3D Studio Max and you can download it for Arnold for example. That's what I did. When you press the download button here you will be presented a purchasing uh, site which um, you should actually use. Uh, type in zero dollars if you really have no money at all but instead of having your next coffee for two dollars or two euro fifty uh, you might as well uh, type in three dollars or three euro for example i think it's in dollars uh, or ten <clears throat> whatever this is really useful and i've used it in previous tutorials already it's basically about interior settings although you can also uh, simulate outside uh, environments a little bit like here imagine you don't have this rim here which shows that uh, there's some kind of wall behind the, the lion but uh, basically this is uh, what, what you can do um, with this thing all interior stuff is excellent really uh, with this lighting setup so once you downloaded it um, you will find uh, a Maya binary or a Maya um, ASCII file plus a description a very brief text file which is important and I show you a shortcut now uh, uh, and show you how this whole system works so um, let's close this and this is the scene you get when you import it here I use the Maya binary one and uh, uh, so it's called 32-bit studios lighting scenes Maya Arnold uh, Maya binary that's the that's the name of the scene you see it right here and uh, it comes in a nice black <laughs> that's because of the shading and uh, when I get new scenes from someone or somewhere I usually press A A shows me the whole thing all so to say and this is the whole miracle here the ground plane is here and we have this big cup here where everything is placed inside now it would be a little bit tedious to find your position here that's why uh, 3d studio 3d bit studios provided us with 10 cameras one to ten this is a green overhead camera the blue overhead camera the white generic camera the side dramatic the soft beauty the underlit dramatic the daytime the step into the light the ca uh, the pink studio and the blue studio here they're all very different indeed and they are related to what's right below here that's the lighting setup now uh, I selected all the cameras here and you actually see them if I press the key F I focus on the cameras they're all sitting here and looking inside the box from a certain angle from their certain angle so to say but not from this side here they all look from this side here and uh, if you look at this camera selected here it's a side dramatic camera okay now uh, here comes the a basic Maya trick which um, many people don't know when you have a camera here for example the top camera um, or the perspective camera which we're currently looking through the scene um, you can always middle mouse drag it into the scene and then you will look through that in that case the side dramatic camera whoops that's the side dramatic camera well second rule here use the camera is the first rule of the camera you're interested in now uh, the second rule is very simple also uh, use the corresponding light setup and here you see they are all grayed out inactive invisible not working because 
only one lighting rig should be working at one time. Uh, that's currently the blue overhead. So let's select it and press Ctrl H in order to hide that too. Now we have no light in the scene. When we render it with Arnold we don't see anything anyway because we haven't placed an object here. But uh, in order to get this uh, working properly we're currently uh, uh, having the camera side dramatic. So here is a side dramatic lighting setup. So we select it and shift H unhides it. You see one light in the scene but when you open this section here you see it's in fact only one light. Other settings here have more lights. In fact when you go down here default light set you see lots of lights which are available here and uh, basically placed and lit automatically for you. So the, there's even a sky dome light here. Uh, which is not uh, uh, in this scene, of course. We don't need a sky dome light in a dramatic uh, lighting scene. So let's render this briefly. Now we need to put something in the scene, and that's the rule number three. Uh, you can select uh, a hidden object, which is this one. Shift H, and it's in the scene. This object tells you this is the ideal size of an object which you might place in the scene. Well, let's get a, uh, an object which is a little bit more interesting than this cube, which is only here for demonstration purposes anyway. Let's go to Windows, General Editors, Content Browser. And instead of uh, a human in the animation section, Let's go to Modeling and Sculpting Objects, Props and let's use this leafless tree. Let's close this. It's in the scene now and it's, as you can see it's huge and uh, of course we can make it much smaller which we'll do right away. So this is the side which is suggested by the developers of this lighting setup. Okay, so let's hide this, Control H. Now we have the tree in here and let's see some dramatic lighting now. Render. Be sure that you render the camera which you're actually looking through. This is not automatic here, so when we use another camera now, in a second, we will um, have to change this pull-down menu here. But as you can al already see, this is very dramatic lighting. That's a very appropriate uh, word. And uh, the light comes from the left, and it has its certain intensity, which certainly makes um, an interesting effect. The images take a while to render uh, on a quite fast machine, well, sometimes four minutes, sometimes even eight minutes, so we're not going to wait for this. Uh, instead we go to View and Test Resolution and we shrink it to 50% and then we go to one by one, so that's the size we have for future renderings as well. Okay, so that's the dramatic light now. Uh, we can go and check another camera with the same light setting. That's not the purpose of this uh, setup, but we can do it, of course. So um, let's, instead of the dramatic side camera, uh, introduce or look through the soft beauty camera. Put it in the scene. You see it's a different angle now. All the other cameras are hovering here, waiting to be used sooner or later. So uh, when we render this now, we have to check here the pull-down menu and we have the soft beauty here. I mean the shader is not uh, very elegant and not perfect at all, but uh, it shows basically what it's about. So that's uh, 
that's not as soft beauty as it's uh, been suggested because as I said and we repeat the step here just once uh, we're here in the soft soft beauty what it's called camera so let's now um, hide the side dramatic control H and unhide shift H the soft beauty and now we render this tree again so we have a soft beautiful light now I hope this mean, makes sense to you and here you see we have three lights working now in other settings we have more lights or less lights working all the three lights are different let's have a look in the attribute editor here this is the uh, area light number five it has a color of white an intensity of 10,000 an exposure of a zero and a temperature of 9800 Kelvin when we go to the light number six for example we have a slightly different setting so the uh, the setting uh, is different for all lights really uh, different intensities etc so that's all prepared for us here's another object we haven't talked about yet it's called a shader ball we don't need to unhide it really but I can that's the shader ball I hide it again the shader ball um, is just a reference for the optimal shader that's the shader they're using on the website for that lion we can of course texture the or shade the tree with that um, sort of default shader right mouse click assign assisting uh, existing material and uh, we'll select the standard surface shader one so we basically get uh, a white and not very shiny not very glossy object well uh, step into the light middle mouse button now we will hide the light rig soft beauty and step into the light is here we unhide it and we render it.